Hello and welcome. Um, I'm back and today I was thinking we'd do some circuit experience. But before we start, I do want to do my little audio check. Well, it seems to be working, so let's get started. Now, I was first thinking that we could do some circuit experience. Which, if you don't know what that is, that's, um, they have different tracks listed here, and they split them up into different sectors. You can watch a video on how to do the sector, and you have to hit some target times. Um, and then, finally, you have to do, like, a full lap of the track. And then beat a certain time. Obviously, the times aren't very hard to beat, and then you'll win a car, so. It's hard not to like. So we'll do McGoyer, I think, because I've driven this track quite a bit. So. Let's just look at some friend, um, some friend rankings here. I only thought he played a set of Corsa. I've never seen him on GT Sport before. What about the top 10? 28-9? Oh, jeez. He's fast. So, I'm gonna watch the video on how to do this. I'm sorry. I wish it would show it on this, but it doesn't. So, you can't really see it, but you can hear. I think you can hear what it says. Marker board as your cue. Exit the corner from a middle line. Once you brake and enter the tight turn two, turn the heading of your car while being careful not to apply too much throttle. The surface is banked towards the outside of the corner, so you will need to be careful not to go wide and off the track. Once you are on the right side, momentarily let off of the throttle and enter turn three. Again, you want to come out of the corner in a middle line, brake, and then enter turn 4. While turn 4 is a blind corner, the course is wide at the exit. Once you are past the apex, open the throttle early on to raise your exit speed. I don't know, let's see what... I don't like this will be too bad. First corner of break about now. Broke too early. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was okay to start, but I didn't, I've never driven this car before, to be a hundred percent fair. Break a little bit later. This car actually had a lot more grip than I thought it would. I got the time, but I still think I can do better. I'm gonna give it a couple more shots. It won't hurt. That was way too late, I think. 
No, it wasn't. That's not what you want when you're driving a real car. Twenty nine nine. I'm getting there. I want to really perfect this sector, though. I feel like it's not. I don't know. Let's perfect this really well. quite this is when I start messing with the brake blast a little bit Slower, that's what I thought. Probably need to go the other way with it. It was real, starting to get really slidey. I think I can do better though. I totally had that one. I always hate it when I feel like I'm going faster and I really wasn't. I think I can break even later. I'll give it a try. This might go really badly wrong. A little too hot into there. That was still a 29.8. It was still a record and I freaking spun it across the line. That is the proper way to finish. <laughs> it's still a record. Oh my gosh. I want to try to do that again. Seven. I'm getting there. I'll take it. This <laughs> spun across the line was a record, but then I beat it by another. Then I beat it by another tenth. All right, let's move on to the second one.
wait, I didn't well, I watched the video, but I'm just gonna try to do it without watching the video. 18-1. Turn that on like negative two. Turn that off. Still got a gold, but it was nowhere near where it should have been. Let's retry that, because I can do a lot better for that corner. I'm gonna find some different ways to approach it so I can take I can probably take a lot of time off. I could have gone into it a lot later. Ah, oh, two tenths. I feel like I could do better. Just look up as far as you can through the corner. That's the key. So you can gauge the corner better. Still, just, I don't know. I get that feeling I still go faster. Well, I can always go faster, but I still get that feeling I can go quite a lot faster. Keep breaking too early. I doubt that was faster. Oh, well, I was wrong, actually. It was a little bit faster. I wouldn't got that oversteer off the corner. Still got into that opposite lock. Alright, this is the last time. Keep it on it too soon there. Alright, whatever. I'll take it. It also pays really well, too. at the entry point, use the right side curb stones and color changes of the surface as your cue to break, and keep to the inside as you turn. Pass through turn 7 flat out, turn back to the left around where the curb stones end to clear turn 8. For turns 9 and 10, use the full width of the track to gain exit speed. All right. So, let's do this. I got some traction control on.
I still beat it. <laughs> but barely. I'm gonna do this again. I have my traction control on, so... Watch the video again. I don't want to really go over that. I still think again. I still have a lot of time to make up. Clearly, they're watching this. We're looking at all the other times here. The online friends have posted. This is a section with repeating high-speed S curves. For turn six at the entry point, use the right side curb stones and color changes of the surface as your cue to brake, and keep to the inside as you turn. Pass through turn seven flat out. Turn back to the left around where the curb stones end to clear turn eight. For turns nine and 10, use the full width of the track to gain exit speed. It is actually slower than my time. But I will take that one tip one through the S curve there. Still on the wide there. I guess by exactly the same time. I was actually slower. Well, we'll give it a second try. I'll go a little harder. Whatever, this is just going to be a grind if I'm going to try to actually beat people's times. It'll just be a matter of if I get lucky. So, I think I'm going to move on. Turn 11 is a hairpin corner with a 20 degree bank at the end of a descending straight. Contrary to its appearance, it is a thrilling corner that can be taken at high speed. Start braking using the 50 meter marker board as your cue and decelerate towards the inside curb stones. When the outer curb stones come into view, apply throttle to shoot out of the corner. All right. I've already driven this corner a bunch of times. It's an interesting one. Oh, I got the throttle just a little too soon there. Just, just a little bit. Not a lot. Just, just a little bit. Gosh, darn.
This is a lot tr trickier than I thought. Alright, I'll just put the brake balance on zero and try it. Wow, that was bad. Despite the fact that the, the time is really easy to beat, though. When am I gonna do it right? I'm just gonna try to break even later than he wants to. Do. Just break as late as possible and try to get it in there. Fifteen three, darn. All right. Keep pushing. Come on, no! Crap! Stank sand! It, once you hit it, you're just off completely. I'm getting there. I want, I want to see if I can get a 14.9, because I know I can. Let's do this. Darn. A little bit of sand is will get ya. But I gotta get this 14-9. We gotta do it. Ow! Oh, dang it! Not enough room on the exit. See if I can take a little bit of wider of a line and maybe take a little bit later of an apex. That a shot. Oh, I scrubbed up way too much speed. That's why it was so slow. And I, I didn't have enough, I couldn't, it was hard to get it in there. And then I just ended up scrubbing off a bunch of speed. Because I overcranked it really badly trying to get it into a little bit later of an apex. Come on, not my throttle too soon. Darn it. I hate it when I do that. Okay. This corner is driving me insane. I don't know why it's so dang easy to get a gold. Come on, oh, what? I had a great exit off of that. It was slower. Darn, all right. I don't know how that was a 15-1. You had a lot of overs to that. Gotta do this. Oh. All right, whatever. This is just gonna get boring after a while. It's just gonna be me shouting at the game and <laughs> eventually I'll maybe get it. So let's just move on because I did get a cold. One more 
just one more sector. For turn 12, get on the right side of the straight section and go out in in, ending on the left side of the exit. Keep in mind that if you don't get on the left side here, it will make the next corner very tight. For turn 13, trace an out in out line at full throttle. Alright, I think I get this. This is a pretty long sector. Forty-one, one. Could be good, could be bad. Almost two seconds faster than I needed for the actual sector time, but the time could just have been that easy to beat. Oh, I gotta take six tenths off. I, I want to beat his time. Want to? Doesn't mean I am going to. I believe I could go a little harder into here. Exit off that could have been a little bit better. It was slower. I did the first part of it better, but I think the second, that last corner, I didn't hit that quite right. Turn that back on zero. I think that was actually working better. I'll go flat out through there. Mess that up. I hope I didn't slow me down too much. <laughs> Still slower. First time was the best one. Maybe four times a charm. Oh, damn. I'm completely screwed up for this rest of this part. Nah, I can't, I can't live with that. Come on. That's, yeah. Darn, and this is going to be such a good one, too. Yeah, it was the fastest one I did, but yet it wasn't. And it rounds up to a second, which is really weird. Just add on the time that you penalized me for. <laughs> I don't get that. But I was not going to lift off because it's not really worth it. I was just going to lose more time anyway. He 
is all that track on the exit. Come on, come on. Yes, we're getting there. I'll live with that time actually. For now, I'll live with that time. Let's see where everybody else. More Grand Turismo 5 music. We'll do it 155 now. Sounds a bit of a try hard like. Well, eight seconds. Yeah, we'll do it in eight seconds. There you go. Now, does that one glitch where you like back into the pits? I'm not doing that. I'm not that kind of person. Bringing me back to memories from Grand Turismo 5 with this music. I don't think I've heard this music yet in this game, actually. It's the first time I've heard this. They have all sorts of music. And it keeps changing, I think, every time I enter the game. It's like it's automatically updating different music. Either that, or there's just so much of it. I don't know. Alright. 155. No, I'm just kidding. Not gonna do 155. I wish. Although you never know. And I'm having traction controls all the way on. I'm gonna break. Right, go for it. Apex. A little bit of break. A lot of break. It's probably back to zero. That's what I'm thinking. didn't really work did it I thought I could use a little bit of that track but I got a little carried away there a lot carried away <laughs> I'll watch that throttle sometimes It's an interesting corner. You can't see in the exit until you're like right on, right on it. A little bit of cheating going on there. There you go.
158.9, not bad though. Not bad at all. Jeez, I beat some pretty fast guys by a decent margin as well. It wasn't a 155, but I never thought it would be. What was the target time, anyway? 205.6. Jeez, they make these too easy. I don't mean to sound like some... I don't mean to sound like arrogant or anything, but jeez, that is such an easy time to beat. I mean... I could probably beat that on a freaking controller, and I'm really bad at a controller. <laughs> I cannot drive with the joystick at all. Yeah. I should do a video about that actually sometime. Just me trying to drive this game on a joystick. It would just be crash after crash after crash. I should try that sometime. But still, hey, I get a new car. Actually, two new cars, because I also completed my driving marathon. Ooh, flame of fire here. Please give me the Mazda LM55. Please give me the Mazda LM55. Come on. No! Oh, dang. You gave me another Mitsubishi Lancer. I already have, like, three of these cars. See, this is what I don't like about these prize cars. They give you cars you already have. I already had, like, three of these. Literally. <laughs> no joke. I need another one of those, obviously. That's that's just what I need. Whatever, I'll buy that car anyway. Darn, if you would have just been a... L that's what I don't like about the, the spinny wheel thing, is you always look at all the other cars and you're like, uh, uh, I want that car. And then you never get it, and then you get all mad. And I just wish they would just obviously just like give you the price car without showing you that wheel, because then if it just show you all the other cars that you could have gotten... It just makes you mad when you don't get the car you wanted. But hey, I get another. I get another shot at this. Hey, let me guess, it's gonna give me another Lamborghini Huracan, even though I already have two. I'm just gonna guess. No, actually, I'm wrong. It gave me another Mazda 6, which is about as fast as a slug with a barbell on its back. And not, not very fast at all. Um. Whatever. You I know, mean, it's not a Mazda 6. It's a Mazda Atenza. I, I don't know. Is it a Mazda 6? I don't even... I don't know. Whatever. Still probably a nice car. I'd still use it. It would still be a nice car to use for, like, every day as a Cadillac driver. I'm not criticizing it for that. I'm just saying I've driven it before, and it's really slow. <laughs> it has no power at all, barely. Let's look at how much power does it have. I'm just curious now. Now I got myself curious. Um, we'll go back to circuit. Oh, sorry. We'll go back to cir circuit experience pretty soon. I just want to. I always hate it. I, I wish it would just automatically sort it by the date acquired. I always switch it to that. Yeah, 172 horsepower. <laughs> Basically, has nothing <laughs> for a 3,500 pound car. I mean. My mom's Suzuki SX4 Sport has like 140 horsepower, and that feels like it has no power at all. But that car is like a thousand pounds lighter than this, so the power to weight ratio on that's probably better. <laughs> I don't know, another reason that car feels like it has no power is because pretty much after 3000 RPM, the car basically runs out of torque. Well, actually, this makes its max torque at 2000 RPM, but I'm sure it probably has a better torque curve than that. Alright, let's get back to circuit experience. Alright, so forget it's under campaign. Well, 
What other tracks we have left? Oh, the Nurburgring, Nordschleife. And the um, Willow Springs International Raceway Horse Thief Mile. Um, also have the Tokyo Expressway East Outer Loop. Um, another Tokyo Expressway that is a central loop. Um, Dragon Trail Seaside. Alsace. I probably butchered that name. Village. Fisherman's Ranch. And Sard Sardinia. Probably mispronounced that too. Windmills. We'll do the Horse Thief Mile. The only other, I've never really driven that car that, uh, not that car, sorry, that track. Never really driven this track that much. And Sector 1 looks like 90% of the course. Well, it's only a mile. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Thirty point eight, no way. There's gotta be some hacking going on. <laughs> Those dang hackers. I don't think they were I don't think they were really hacking. But I do hate it when people do that and it says like an eight second time. It's like really is an ascending right-hand corner where the latter half has a tighter arc. Decelerate by letting off of the throttle and keep to the center of the track. Move your car on the left side as you exit. In the following right-hand corner, you also want to let off of the throttle to reduce speed and set your apex on the part where the ground surface sticks out on the right. Turn two, a low speed corner at the top of the hill also begins as a loose corner and then becomes tighter in the latter half. Enter the corner from braking in a straight line and gradually loosen the brakes as you turn in. After descending from the hill, you will make a left turn. Next, position your car on the right to enter turn four, which turns to the left on an upward incline. Here again, you need to brake in a straight line and turn in while slowly letting off of the brakes. Go wide around the outside. Because the latter half of the corner has a harsh angle, set your clipping point at the exit of the corner. All right. Let's see if I remember all that. Probably not. That was already really bad. Decreasing radius, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Knew it was a decreasing radius, just didn't realize to what extent. I get a lot better of a run up to this corner than I did last time. Well, I'm off the track a little bit. The 35.5, but I still think it can go a lot faster. Because I think I saw some people do low 34s. That last corner wasn't so great. Uh, I had to do the last second thing there. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. No nothing happened there. Downshift there. No, I didn't downshift. I didn't downshift. That was all your imagination. But do you have my traction control on? Darn it. I don't want my traction control on. Stop turning it on. Who needs traction control? Traction control is for the weak. I keep downshifting there. I 
I keep thinking the corner is like I have more room than I do. Let's lift off. I'm gonna keep it kind of steady. Don't downshift. Now I can get on it. And off the gas a little bit more. No! Ugh. Nothing happened. Don't give up. Go for it. Really messing with the throttle. But now I need to almost break. That corner tightens up so much. You think you can just kind of hit it because it's banked and just go right off of it. Tight corner. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Still a 35. Oh, that was actually worse. I can't get that last corner right. Just ran it off. Probably better not even worry about this first part of the corner. Oh, thought I had it. I'm too much lock up on the tires. This is what it felt like, because I was just driving it straight on there. Cut that extra tight there. That worked really well, actually. I'm just going to go all the way off there. Come on. I thought I had enough room there. Darn it. That corner really tightens up. This is a really quite a tricky track. Thirty-five one. I still have like a whole second I can take off this lap. It's driving me crazy. Where do I take the second off now? Need to downshift there. I'm getting there, getting there. Whatever, I'll just live with that actually. <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna live with it. <laughs> I just gotta change my mind for the last second there. And you know what? I'm the second fastest on our little leaderboard here, so. Our little online friend leaderboard. I'll take that. There's like only one more sector. Again, I'm gonna do like a 15 second lap. Or do like, I'll do this in 15 seconds. I'll hack the game and do it in like eight, but you know. No traction control, what did I say? Alright, I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just gonna kinda guess it. Still probably get, I still probably won't get a gold. Even if Okay, whoa. I still got gold. And I drove off the track. Well, that wasn't me, actually. That was the, that was the um, AI driver. The artificial intelligence in the game. Not so intelligent. <laughs> Clearly. Almost feels all-wheel drive. I think it is. It's a Nissan GTR, but it's a race car version. It's a Group Four. 
I guess maybe it is all wheel drive. I guess group four allows you to keep the same drive train. Come on, come on, make it, make it, make it. Ah, oh, I was just gonna see if I could completely floor it. <laughs> I did quite a jump there. If only I could take, I, I should, oh, I should have kept the replay of that and just took a picture of it. I don't know why I'm first. I know I can do way better than this though. I'll do, I'll do it in like 22. Not. But huh, maybe. Again, I'm first gear. Twenty four point two. Oh, they quite a jump there. Twenty three six. Holy smokes. Let me guess the record's like eight seconds. No, twenty two nine. Oh jeez, these people didn't actually hack. They're still way faster. I don't know, they're hacking. I'll, I'll, say, I'll just say they're hacking anyway. <laughs> even, if, even if they probably not. 53.8. Is my time to beat right now. I don't think I was that far off. Mm, not really, but yeah, I'll take that time. I I'm not going to try it anymore. I just want to get my car. What car did I get? Oh no, it's doing the wheel thing again. Just whatever you do, don't give me a vision car. Although I guess the other options aren't really much better. And guess what? A car I just bought, quite literally. And you know what though? I don't really mind because this is a great car. I like the Mercedes AMG GTS. What's not to like? It's a cool car. I mean, I lapped the top of your test track at the same time a Gumbert Apollo did, so. All right, what track should I do next? I could just do the Nurburgring. 
Ugh. Excuse me. All right. We'll do the we'll do the Nurburgring. Cause why not? It's the best reason for everything. I gotta do it sometime, so why not? Why don't I just do it now? I mean, get it out of the way. Well, I guess that's not really a point of a racing game. The point is to have fun. And you know what? I'm doing that right now. It'll be fun when I do it. Oh gosh, this car's got a lot of oversteer. Oh, don't, don't hit the grass. Oh, great. Oh, man, that was a mess. This car's interesting. I guess it's an ambiguous term, but... It's different, is, I guess, the best, the best way to say it. It's not really good or bad. And I didn't even beat a time. This is gonna be a hard one. Let's push through it. Oh gosh. This is already scary. This car just reacts to bumps so badly. It does not handle bumps well at all. all the track going in here, even a little bit of the pits. I could probably go flat out through there. I don't, it doesn't feel like you can, but I think you can. I think I've done it before, actually, in this car. I did it. I'll just stick with it. Because we got a lot of sectors to do. I might try to beat some online friends later. I just wanna I just wanna do it. What a 39 How do you do a 399? I mean I guess you I guess I sort of believe you can, but jeez. That car's this car's a handful of drive. The way it's set up is not very well. This was a on the beta version, this car was a great handling car, but right now, with this setup, it's not. the video has to say. I already know the Nurburgring decently well from a lot of other racing games like Assetto Corsa, Project Cars, Gran Turismo 6. Anything that's on console is a simulator. At the flag foot, going from a jumping spot to a high speed right hand corner, you want to let off of the throttle slightly using the side road on the outer side as your cue. While cornering, steer carefully in order to avoid exceeding the grip. I thought you'd go flat through there. Tires. Set your line to connect the two curb stones on the inside in an arc. The spreading curve's high speed left hand corner ahead of the straight contains a bump in the turn that can cause you to understeer and force you off the track. So keep to the inside of the corner. Next is the Arobar right hand corner, which has a large escape zone on the outer side. Using the end of the outer curb stones as your marker, brake in a straight line. 
Because this is on a downward incline, be wary of overspeeding. Use the bank on the inside of the corner and accelerate out of the corner smoothly. All right, well, let's give this a shot. Four. I think I can go flat through here. I've done it before. I don't know what this setup. Nope, I can't. He was right. <laughs> I was wrong. I'll just lift off for like a split second here and try that. Well, I guess that's now. Jeez, like I'm lift off the throttle instead of like the car straightens out and I lift off the gas. That's weird. That that's that's weird. The car straightened out that much when I lifted off the gas. Maybe it's just because it's so dang bumpy. I don't know. Let's give it a little dash of brake to get the car rotating because it just doesn't want to rotate through there. Be able, be able to almost keep this car pegged going through this. Well, that's one way to do it in an explosive crash. And it still beat the time by almost a second. <laughs> I just want to see how good I do if I don't crash. Out of curiosity, and I want to get this part right, or not? Jeez, <laughs> that corner is tricky. There's been some bad accidents there. There was one time a Nissan GTR, like the front end of it, just caught air, and there was a really bad. Some people died. It was horrible. Yeah, I downshifted through there. Probably maybe not the fastest way to go. I think that was when they started putting speed limits on the Nurburgring. And I think they got rid of them eventually. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, I caught that slide just in the nick of time. And it only took a tenth of a second off my lap. Whatever. I'm sure it's gonna be the 36. As seriously as these people take it. Well, I was wrong, actually, 37 6. And I'm sure I could do better, but yeah, I haven't broken downshift of that corner. That was like, way too slow. But. I still got many sectors ahead, so let's keep on pushing. 28 4. I doubt I'm going to beat that. We'll never hurt the try though, would it? I'm not even gonna watch the video, I think I got this. So you keep it flat, keep it flat, and then give it a bit of a break. Over that, oh, hit it, I cut it too hard. I got this. No, I don't. Decreasing radius, bad decreasing radius. People go off there all the time. Twenty-eight nine, I'll take it. I'm sure people have done way better, but
might have enough money to afford a Mazda LM55 by the end of this. Didn't think I ever would, but... More GT5 music. I think it was that bad. Eleventh. What? These people take this way too seriously. <laughs> two seconds. Isn't that, how do I take two seconds off of that? I mean, I didn't think I did like brilliantly, but I didn't think I did that bad. Whatever. I want to get this out of the way. How many more? Eleven sectors. Yeah, I better keep going. I'd like to make another video where I try to beat all these guys' times, but I just want to get through it, really. If I really feel like I could go faster and I still got a gold, I might do it another two or three times, but I don't want to bore everybody to death by me keep doing the same one over and over again. That kind of gets boring after a while. I want to keep the video rolling. Ran over that curb a little too much. I wasn't trying to, it's just the track's so bumpy it's hard to put the car where I want it to go. It's just saying that one mile on the Nürburgring is equivalent to 10,000 miles on normal roads. At least that's what I heard from Motor Trend. Forty-nine one. I'll take it. Again, you're gonna see way faster times, but I'm not going for that right now. I'm just going to complete the event. Yeah, it's like a whole second slower, but whatever.
flat out through here, you don't feel like it. Um, ooh, that was close. This car's way sensitive on the power. I still beat the target time by 1.2 seconds. I'll try that one more time, because again, I spun it. This car is real sensitive sometimes. Like, I thought I could really, I was trying to be decently smooth on the tar, but put it down aggressively, but nah. It's better to play it safe with this car. I'm starting to realize that now. Just figure that out. Jeez, this is a tricky corner. Flat out, hold it there. Come on, don't wreck it, don't wreck it, don't wreck it. Short shift there. 130.7. Do a lot better, <laughs> only three tenths better. Uh. I still messed up that last corner pretty badly. I broke too late. And I'm only two tenths slower. You know what? I'm going forward again then. If that's the case. One more time. Without boring all you audience people to death. Darn. <laughs> Sometimes I think I can make it through a corner and I don't. There you go. Focus. Don't crash. Thirty point five. Well, whatever. I'll leave it at that. Probably didn't beat his time, but. I didn't think so. Whatever. I'll just live with that then. I love the circuit experience on this game. It's just such a cool feature. I wish more games would have something like this actually, because sometimes I'll get stuck on a, like learning a new track so badly. And with this, you know, you just watch the video. And then you can set your cone markers up if you want to, but which is, it's nice. You don't even have to use a driving line, which I would have to rely on in other racing games, which I don't like to rely on. I actually never usually do. Because it kind of completely destroys the immersion for me. That was a fail. Fail. Another fail. Jeez, a carousel. <laughs> the first carousel. The bad one. Actually, if they short shift, I've seen some race some race car drivers do that. Ah. Failed it again. Come on, stay on the carousel, stay on the carousel, stay on the carousel. Awesome. And I got gold, and I'll just leave it at that. Tenth. Oh gosh, I'm only six tenths slower, but it's only a 14 second sector thing anyway, so.
Oh, this sector. Don't lose grip. Aw, poo. That corner. Darn. Flat out. Don't lift. You think you have to, but you don't. Your mind tricks you. Eh, 48.6, whatever. I'll take that. It was like a second quicker than the target time, which probably means I'm two seconds slower than everybody else. They did it, but... <laughs> sort of an interesting rule of thumb. Although, actually, I was kind of a little off. It was more... It was 1.2 seconds. Who turned my traction control on? Tricky corner. But I made it. Actually, I made that look really smooth. Just sail over these curves like a pro. with that. Almost there. Okay, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. More GT5 music, I think. Similar to GT5 music.
All right, one more sector, and then I get to do the lap. Alrighty. It'd be funny if they just had a whole sector just driving down the straightaway. <laughs> and then everyone would get like exactly the same time because they just drive in a straight line. That'd be funny. If that's how they label all the sectors out. If that's how they label this just one sector. It'd just be you driving down the straightaway. That'd be funny. But they extend it to the finish line, so there are a few corners I have to go around. But you pretty much keep it flat out until you hit the second rumble strip and then you break. In fact, I can probably break later than that. I know I can break later than that. And I cross the line. I'm gonna try that again, actually, because I know I can go faster. And then I'll do my lap, the whole lap. Hopefully without crashing. 170, come on. There you go, car. Go smoothly into here. Just keep it pegged. And don't lift off until you see the light in the tunnel. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. No, 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 no. It's quite a save. And it was slower still, <laughs> but whatever. Again, this is just going to end up being me shouting at the game, trying to take every tenth of a second off. I'll opt not to do that right now just get to what I want to do, which is the hot lap. So Clint MPS did a 643.4. Jeez, that's a fast time. He's a good driver though. I don't think he's actually, he's fast on pretty much any game too. Like. I've seen him, he's posted some really good Project Cars times. He's done some really fast Assetto Corsa times. Like some people, like GTR is really fast on Grand Turismo Sport, and he's pretty fast on Assetto Corsa, but seems like he's just extremely fast on Assetto, or, um, on GT Sport. But like, and then I see some people who are really fast on Assetto Corsa and are not so fast on this game. And I'm, I'm faster on a Seto Corsa than, than I am on this game, I think. But I'm sort of okay at both. I think a little bit better at a Seto Corsa, though. If I can get under a 650, I'll be happy. Keep it flat out. Let's give it a little dash of brake to make sure I get some weight on those front tires. And it's just more for just to be safe than anything.
carried a little bit more speed through there, I think. corner of like I actually know the name of the carousel <laughs> flat out wow, I got that a lot better than I thought actually a good car actually I'm starting to like it this is an interesting section because it's Come on, come on, come on. I thought I was so gonna lose it through there. Ooh, 644.8, I'll take that. I will actually legitimately take that. Not a 643, but hey, not as bad as I thought I'd do. Now what car did I get? Hopefully it's something good. Oh great, there's one car that's like really I want to get. No, actually it's a McLaren. I don't really actually have one of those, believe it or not. I actually don't. But it hit me the car. So now I can put the Nurburgring sticker on cars. Hmm. All right. It's getting late. I think this is a great time to stop. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for um, more videos like this. 
I'll make sure to do that part two video of um, the Assetto Corsa Ferrari 70th anniversary pack sometime, and thanks.